Hello and welcome to another tutorial on uh, functions using functions in C. So this is the final program for today in which we explore how we can determine whether a function is prime, uh, whether a number is prime or not. So uh, let me just take another source file over here. And uh, so we all know what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which have only two factors like uh, 7 which have only two factors that is 1 and the number itself prime numbers are those numbers which have only two factors example 7 11 13 and so on so 7 has only two factors that is 1 and 7 example 11 has only two factors 1 and 11 so this is the common trend that is observed with all prime numbers and 2 remember that 2 is an even prime number because 2 has also only two factors that is 1 and the number 2 itself so what is a non prime number non prime number ha prime numbers are those numbers which have more factors apart from 1 and the number itself say 4 6 sorry 8 and all the essentially uh, the 9 and so on so numbers which have more factors apart from 1 and the number itself those are ca categorized as non prime numbers so what are the factors of 6 1 2 3 and 6 so like this we can differentiate between prime numbers and non prime numbers so uh, how can we check whether a number whether a given number is prime or not so if we can count the number of factors that exist for that particular number say for instance 6 if the user enters the number 6 and we uh, count the number of factors that exists for 6 we'll see that there are uh, more factors other than uh, 1 and 6 that is there are 4 factors in total but if it was a prime number like 7 it would have had only two factors so the difference between a prime and a non prime number is that the number of factors that exist for a prime number will always be two so if it has more fun uh, factors ap uh, apart from one and the number itself so the number of factors for that number will be more than two and then we can conclude that the number is not a prime number and if it is a prime number obviously the uh, the factor count for that number will be equal to 2 exactly because all prime numbers have only two factors that is 1 and the number itself but if it has more factors that is for 6 say uh, 1 and 6 and then 2 and 3 so the number of the count of the number of factors will be 4 which is greater than 2 so if we keep a counter that counts all the factors that is the numbers which can exactly divide 6 so what are the factors of a number I I hope you remember the previous program so this one numbers like 1 2 3 and 6 these are the factors of 6 why because 6 can be exactly divided by these numbers and when we divide 6 by these numbers they don't leave any leave any kind of remainders so these are the factors of 6 so 6 only has four factors but all prime numbers have uh, only two factors like 7 11 2 13 and so on so we can check whether a number is prime or not by counting the number of factors that exist for that particular number so let me just write the code for this uh, function for this program so first of all I'll be writing the code for the main method so let me copy and paste this function from here this body will be exactly the same function uh, body of the main method so there is no point in writing it all over again I'm just copying and pasting it from the previous function only I'll change the name of the function to prime one and now below the main method I'll write void prime 1 so 
I think we can return a value from this prime one function. So let me just uh, rather than keeping it as void, let me give it int. So I'll be returning an integer type value from prime one to our main method. So in the previous functions, that is this factor, uh, the function on checking factors and hello world. In these programs, we had not returned any value from the external function to the main method. But here in case of our uh, program on finding the uh, checking whether a number is prime or not, will not be returning any values, uh, sorry, will be returning one value, one single value from the external function to the main method. So, so the return type is not int, uh, sorry, sorry, it is not void, it is int. And here I'll be taking a value which is being passed as the parameter to uh, this function from the main method so we are passing a parameter called num and the copy of this parameter will be transferred to this prime one function and it will be stored in this value called a and inside this I'll keep a counter which will check how many factors exist for that exists for that particular uh, number so here I'll simply execute a for loop that goes from int i equals 1 like in the previous function on finding the factors of a number I'll be executing a for loop that runs from 1 to the number itself that is a the number itself here is uh, represented by a so I'll be running a for loop that goes from 1 to a and if the number itself that is a is divisible by any of the factors that is all the values between one and number itself uh, then I'll treat that number as a factor so if if uh, any number between one and the number itself is able to divide that particular number and doesn't give any kind of remainder that is the remainder remains zero we can conclude that that number is ac actually a factor of a so what I'll do is I'll every time I find the factor of a I'll in increment the counter. Okay. So like I said, the way we can distinguish between a prime number and a non-prime number is to count the number of factors. A prime a prime number will have only two factors under all circumstances, and a non-prime number will have more than two factors. So after uh, proceeding through the for loop, I'll simply return this value of counter to our main method so I'll be returning count to main method so now when as we are returning this value of count I'll have to it this value is returned to the main method so here we are calling the main function so when we uh, call the main uh, sorry we are calling this prime one function and when we are calling the prime one function the control from the main method is passed to the function itself but after we are finished with this function before this function terminates this function actually returns this value of count from here back to the main method so now we'll have to use a value say c or any other variable for that matter of the type of uh, variable that is returned by the function so this uh, function is returning a value of type int so we'll have to keep a variable of type int over here which will store the value that is being returned from this external function so this count, this value of count will be stored in this value uh, variable called c. And after this, after we are getting the value of count back from the external function called prime1, we will check the value of count. If it is equal to 2, we can say that the number is prime. The number is prime. else we can say the number is non prime because a non prime number will always have a counter value uh, for factors greater than 2 so if the counter value is exactly equal to 2 we can conclude that the number is prime and the, if the value of the counter is more than 2 it will be a non prime number all right so let me just save the program and run it prime fact
line function save it and run it now so it says I cannot declare this variable i inside the for loop so I'll have to declare it externally over here for some reason it is not allowed so I'm returning a number say I'm specifying a number that is prime say 7 it says that the number is prime so now let me enter another number which is non prime so let me give 88 it is a non prime number because the number of factors of 88 is far greater than 2 so this concludes our tutorial on uh, finding the finding the factor of a number uh, sorry uh, finding whether a number is prime or not and I missed out one thing I haven't specified the function signature over here so let me do that now although this uh, program is working even without specifying the function signature but I want to be on the safer side so I'll be writing the function uh, return type followed by the name of the function and the parameter type so if I run it once again it will also work so so 8 8 is non prime so this concludes our tutorial for uh, finding whether a number is prime or not so i'll see you in my next lesson on the next class have a nice day everybody